In this video of the Oracle JSON series, I want to show you how to convert JSON arrays and objects into relational data. So taking an array of objects and converting it into columns and rows. So to do that, I've already set up some data in this JSON table example. It has two columns, ID and num ID and data. Data is a JSON column. And then I've inserted this JSON object into that table. And it's the same JSON object that I used in yesterday's video. So the first thing I'm going to demonstrate is how to convert this players array into rows and columns. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is select something. I'm not going to specify the columns yet because that comes a little later. I need to first select from JSON table example. I'll give it an alias of JTE. And I also want to select from a JSON table. So a JSON table is a function. It takes two arguments. The first argument is a JSON object. Um, in this case, it's going to be the same JSON object located in JSON table example dot data. So JTE dot data. And then the second argument comes in two parts. The first part of the second argument is a path. So a path in the JSON object. So I want players. So dollar sign not players. And since an array, since it is an array, I want everything in the array. Okay. And then the second part of it is the columns keyword plus all the columns that I want to create from this array of objects. So I want a name column to correspond with the name key in these objects. So I'm going to call this name. There's no comma there. I could specify a data type, but I don't want to. I'm going to use the default, which is bar card to 1000 characters, I believe. So name and then I need to specify the path keyword and then I need to create another path saying where that is relative to this path up here. So this dollar sign now means what's directly after this path that should be that. So the dollar sign is equivalent to starting here so dot something that's where this dollar sign starts and it's the context uh, symbol so that means depending on which object uh, the JSON table is currently looking at so it can be this first one the second one the third one it's taking the context of that one and then giving me the name of that particular object and it does that for every object in the array that you specify in the first path so dollar sign dot name will give me the name and that's the first column the second column is the number column I'll name this num to not interfere with the a keyword number path is going to be dot number and the third column is going to be position and the path is going to be position then once I'm done I can close out the parentheses and then I'll give it an alias of JT and now that I have these columns those are the columns that I want to show so JT dot name JT num and JT position are the columns I want to see in this query and then finally I need to filter where JT the ID equals one so now that I have all that let me run it and now I have three rows and three columns each row corresponds to one object in the array that I specified so the first one is Eric for name so Eric here and then number is 55 and then position is quarterback then it moves on to the second object where the name is Anthony the position is shooting guard and number is 12 and then the third row is the same third object Rodney pitcher 22 so that's pretty easy to understand you're just converting the objects here into uh, columns and this array just holds the rows in a sense. So this JSON table is a virtual table. It doesn't actually exist anywhere in the database. It's 
only create it when you're doing the query itself. And then you can select from this JSON table um, the columns that you specified. So let me show you a second example using this other array, this games array. So I'll move this one down to demonstrate. So select, I'll specify the columns later. JSON table example, JTE. And then I need JSON table and then JTE.data. And then the path that I want is dollar sign dot games and it's an array so I want everything in the array. Now to specify the columns, um, I'm going to use four columns, opponent, location, points for, and points against. So opponent path is dot opponent and then location path And then for these last two, since it has a dash, I'm just going to make it um, SQL friendly. So points underscore for path plus dollar sign dot. Since it has that dash, I need the quotes. Oops, not position points for. And then points against path. Okay, give it the alias of JT where JT.ID equals one. And then I want to query from these four columns that I created. So JT.opponent, JT.location, JT.points underscore four, and JT.points underscore against. So let me check for any syntax errors. I see one here. There's closing quote. And let me try running it. Okay, so now I have two rows returned because there are two objects in this array here. The first object has Bulldogs as the opponent, the location is home, points for is 192, and points against is 2. And then the second object, opponent, is the Falcons, location away, points for 21 and points against 3,232. So using JSON table, we're able to convert these arrays of ob objects into relational data. And that way, we can either join on some other table that we have, or we can process it directly somewhere in PLSQL, for instance, um, because it's a lot easier to process data when it's in uh, relational form. So. That's all I want to show you for this video in the Oracle JSON series. I'll come back with another video tomorrow. So uh, watch for that video. And thanks for watching this video.